Welcome back to the 49ers Gold Mine YouTube channel. If you have not yet hit that subscribe, like, as well as share to all of your friends and family, whoever is interested in 49ers content. And even if they're not interested in 49ers content. Um, so let's get into it. The 49ers sign edge rusher Arden Key. He's someone I liked coming out of the draft uh, with 2018. That was when he was selected in the third round to the Oakland Raiders. He hasn't really lived up to the hype, I would say. Uh, the reason why I say hype is before he went into the draft, he was someone that was regarded as a potential first-round pick. Uh, he didn't turn into a first-round pick, obviously, since he went into the third round. And a lot of people deemed it as a steal by the Oakland Raiders. It was That was a great pick by the Raiders. They got this product out of LSU, an athletic edge rusher. Uh, it was a huge get, a lot of people were saying. Uh, by the numbers, it hasn't turned into that far in key. He has shown flashes, kind of like Javon Kinlaw. Javon Kinlaw showed some flashes last year. Uh, Arden, that was pretty much Arden Key's career with the Raiders, was showing quite a bit, a few flashes, especially during the run play, similar to Javon Kinlaw. Granted, Arden Key's going to probably play more on the outside than the inside uh, than Kinlaw, but I like the opportunity that this can provide for the 49ers, similar to Wayne Gallman. We'll see if this guy's in for camp or if he's actually on the roster for the regular season. Uh, that's to be shown. Arden Key did have a career high, 11 quarterback hits last season. Previously, his previous two seasons, he had a total of 10. He more than doubled that with 11 in 14 games, two less than the regular season offered last season. Although he did have no sacks. Watching his film, it's not like he couldn't get to the quarterback. Obviously, he could. He had 11 quarterback hits. Seemed to be a second late almost every single time. Um, so there's room to grow. But where he's mostly impressive is in the run defense outside. He's able to... He has good hands, first off. He has really good hands to where he's able to shoot inside if he has to or hold the edge if he has to, depending on what his assignment is based on where the ball is. Is he playing far hash? Is he playing uh, boundary? Uh, it, it depends on his assignment, but he has good hands uh, against the run, and I think that's where he can offer a lot for the 49ers is holding his edge against the run. Why I think that's key, because if he is on this roster, Preferably, you would like to ease Nick Bosa in, who's coming off an ACL. You don't necessarily want him out there for 60 snaps. He didn't even do that week one as a rookie. He wasn't out there for 60 snaps. Um, so you get a guy who's good against the run like Arden Key. He's shown flashes against the run. More flashes than he has against the pass. So if you could have him out there on the earlier downs, bring Nick Bosa in on a second and third down in, in more ideal passing situations. You don't obviously do this for an entire season, but if you could do this for the first couple weeks, week two, week three, maybe even week four to ease Nick Bosa, give him some time to not only just have the knee, the ACL at a full go, but get into game shape. Cause I'm sure you don't really want to use too much preseason snaps with Nick Bosa. Those games don't count. I'm not sure if you even want him out there in the preseason. He didn't even do that as a rookie. So uh, a guy like Arden Key can give Bosa some time. Like I said, there's no guarantee if he's on this roster for week one. But if he is, I wouldn't be surprised to have Arden Key as a run-stopping specialist from an edge position. I like this signing. I like it. Like I said, I liked him out of college. He's not going to put up the pass rushing snaps stats, but this is a this is a what would you call it? It's a it's a signing to where it's a low risk, high reward. 
it's a low risk because it's a one year deal. You're not spending much for it. It's not like you're signing the guy for $5 million. It's a low risk signing, but it could get a high reward because this guy was one. He was regarded as a first round talent at one point in his career. And I think he can still provide some run defensive help. If you listen to me for this long, just subscribe already. 49ers gold mine, YouTube channel, like share to your friends. Maybe they've never heard of Arden key. Give them someone's opinion. Freshen their mind on Arden key as well as 49ersgoldmine.com. Find a lot of great content, a lot of great orators. Stay tuned, faithful.